beautiful welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video we are gonna do a full face of new makeup i have it all here i think i think i have it all here we are just gonna be trying out some new makeup i think i have almost one in every category and i'm gonna be talking a little bit about my trip to europe that i did now with my husband in june we were gone for two and a half weeks and we went to several different countries and we had a couple of mishaps so we're gonna be chatting about that and hopefully getting ready So I actually just got out of the shower and I just have my hair up. We'll fix that in a bit. I'm actually wearing a new top that I bought on vacation. I bought this in Sweden from Gina Trikoa. Haven't bought anything there since I moved, obviously. And this is the only thing. Is this the only piece of clothing I bought while I was gone? Yes, this is the only piece of clothing I bought when I was gone. I did buy a couple of bras because we have a really good uh, company that sells bras in Sweden. I love buying from Change. Um, and they have really good sizes. So I actually bought four bras when I was there and I bought these earrings in Amsterdam and I also bought a mini bag in Amsterdam. So, and I had that on my stories, I think. If you're not following me on Instagram, maybe you should. I do try to post as much as possible. I did not post a lot when I was gone, but I was on vacation. Let's just put it like that. I'm actually gonna be wearing a primer that I know and love. I'll, I'll link everything that I am wearing down below and we'll chat a little bit about the new things that I'm gonna be trying, but I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the trip as well, but I didn't really do any shopping uh, at all throughout this trip, but I did vlog a little bit, but this is not gonna be like a super extensive, super long vlog, and I'm not 100% sure when it's going up on my vlog channel. That is linked down below, but it's coming fairly soon. Let me have this one dry in just a little bit and I'm gonna go wash my hands and I can zoom in and we can actually start with this foundation that I'm a little bit worried about because I think this is like a hydrating glowy thing. I bought this on a whim but we're gonna be trying out. It's the Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint by Danessa Myricks. I bought mine in color, in color? In the color five and we're just gonna be praying that this is not a greasy mess. Please don't let me down. I'm actually gonna put on some perfume because like I said, I just stepped out of the shower. This is the Demeter Thunderstorm. This is one of my absolute favorite fragrances of life. This is just a cologne. It's a cologne spray. I love it though. This is like a signature scent. It smells like rain. It smells like a fresh summer's rain and you just stepped into the garden after the rain stops and it's still warm in the air. It is like summer, you smell the greenery, you smell the water. The, the smell of rain is called petrichor and it's almost like a little earthy as well because like the rain has been falling on the soil. Ugh, it's so amazing. It reminds me of summer in Sweden. Mm. I love this one. I will link it down below because it's fairly easy to get a hold of and it's not very expensive either. Okay, let's go in with this foundation and let's see how this one is. I'm gonna use a sponge. I'm hoping this is a good color. I'm just gonna use a little bit. And no, this is not a clean sponge. Don't come for me. It's a fairly acceptable color. Okay, so we left from Austin to go to Sweden via Atlanta and Amsterdam on the 6th of June. And we rented a car once we got to Sweden so that we could go around because my mom and Ricardo's mom and Ricardo's dad, Ricardo's mom and dad does not live together. They live in, they all of them live in totally totally different parts of the country like it's not easy to get to all of them and since we knew that we were like a little tight on time and we also wanted to meet my best friend she actually ended up coming down uh, she lives a little bit more north from the other one she ended up coming down to the town where my mom lives uh, and we hang out with her and her fiance for a day and we also got to hang out with some friends in lynn shopping together with some of the old co-workers that ricardo had from the lab in lynn shopping when we were going in between my mom and ricardo's mom so it was i want to say like eight or nine days of just driving around seeing everybody and i'm gonna have a little bit of that in my vlog what do we think about this one it's definitely low coverage like this side has it, this side has not. I mean, you can see that it's evening out my skin tone and it is a fairly good color match. If you're the same color as me, I have a little bit of a tan right now. Number five, I think it was a light to medium. I'm fairly sure that's what I got. 
Uh, and after we went to Sweden, we basically just hanging out with our families and just honestly having such a great time. But oh, I forgot to mention. Oh my god, I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention the thing that literally defined this entire trip, which is that on the way to Sweden, KLM lost my husband's luggage, which had almost all of the gifts that we had bought for our family and friends in Sweden. I had some of them, but he had most of them in his bag. And yeah, KLM has still not found his bag. They literally do not know where it is. He, they have told him, we're still looking, don't hold your breath. <laughs> so every other day we had to stop somewhere so that Ricardo could buy like new underwear and t-shirts because he didn't have anything. <laughs> Nothing. He did not have anything. <laughs> I will say this is very glowy and a little tacky, but not anywhere close to the the level of shininess and greasiness that that like tart thing had do you remember that one that i reviewed this one that was the glowiest of glowiest like i literally just smeared myself with colored butter this one is not that and we're gonna see if this one like dries down a little bit we'll literally see what happens i'm still in the process of reviewing the lawless concealer so i thought i'd use this one today and i'm also going to be using a powder that i know and love i have it here next to me it is the nikia joy um matte powder and i'm going to be using that uh, a little bit after we've used more cream products because boy do i have cream products to try <laughs> and the thing with this whole losing ricardo's bag it's not so much the point that like Mistakes happen. I've said that before when I've talked about like customer service and like deliveries. And I mean, I run my own business. Mistakes happen. Sometimes packages go missing. I'm guessing sometimes bags go missing. It is what it is. Sometimes it's literally nobody's fault. Like we're all doing the best we can basically. And I've always said with like customer service, it's not their fault that anything happened, but it is their fault if they're not doing at least something to try and help or if nothing else please don't make it worse what i really hate about customer service when it happens is when i catch them in a lie because like just tell me the truth we messed up uh, we don't know where your bag is but they told ricardo your bag is here your bag is here your bag is everywhere we're sending it here we're sending it there it's coming soon and then all of a sudden he reaches this guy that's like no your bag they don't know where it is that's why you're getting so many different answers and so they've literally been lying to him for a week telling him that it's here it's there we're sending it now we're we're, we're gonna call you as soon as it's on its way but it was never on its way <laughs> because they didn't know where it was and that's the part that like gets me we put so much time off our vacation calling them and they were like call us back tomorrow call us back tomorrow and it's like if they had just told us listen we don't know where your bag is and if we find it we'll call you if you need to buy something buy something have a nice vacation we'll talk to you later Instead of just making us having to call them every single day and them just giving us a new story of where this bag was, when in fact, they never knew where the bag was. <laughs> they literally had no idea. So that was fascinating. I am going to be using some of these new color sticks that came from Colourpop. This is the light sticks and the bronzer sticks. Fairly sure the bronzer stick is a new release. They did have some contours, but... Do you remember? I remember. Do you remember? Pepperidge Farm remembers the contour sticks that Colourpop had back in the day. They weren't great. They weren't horrible, but they, they weren't great. So this, is this the right color? This is La Yola Cove. La Yola Cove. And I think this is the light, the second to lightest color. This chair, I swear, I swear. So I'm so happy that they decided to re-release. I really have been liking the releases that Colourpop has been bringing out. I feel like they are having some really, really good ones. I'm able to draw on with the stick. It is not as creamy as the Rare Beauty one. Um, I would say it's a little bit more firm, not as firm as the Merit one, 
but definitely not as creamy as the Rare Beauty one. So somewhere maybe in between. Hmm. You can see it's a little... I don't know if it's the foundation or if it's the stick. I don't know. That's not perfect, but it could be the foundation. I mean, it's okay. It's okay, but it's definitely not perfect. And that is a cat hair. <laughs> that is a cat hair. Guys, I did bring out one of the highlighter sticks as well. Some of these things I've gotten in PR. Uh, some of them I bought myself, like the concealer I got in PR, the foundation I bought myself, and these colorful things I got in PR. And I'm also gonna be using the new ABH palette, which I did buy with my own money. But this is the highlighter stick, and I think this color looks amazing. Don't know if this is gonna work as a highlighter for me, but <laughs> we're gonna try, because this is called Molten Hot. And oh my, look at that. That is such a warm, peachy gold. Oh, okay, don't demonetize me. <laughs> Please don't demonetize me. I've taken two weeks off. I cannot afford to be demonetized. But I'm gonna be using this one first. Ooh, is that my fingerprints? Yuck, don't look at that. Open sesame, open. Did you know, by the way, that it's not open sesame? It's open sesame. I was 39 years old when I learned that. Did you know that? Because like I read that and I'm like, really? And then it makes sense. Like, why would it be open sesame? Like, like sesame seeds? <laughs> you know how you, sometimes you say stuff and then you realize that like it made no sense and you've been saying it your entire life? Yeah, that was me with that. That color is divine. So I made a Sephora order and I bought these two things and I bought the... Uh, Cosmos palette by ABH. So I only bought three things, but I thought we'd try them out. This one is in Peach Glow, and this is, mind you, what was that? Ew, ew. <laughs> this is the first product from Say I'm ever trying. Is that true? Am I lying? I think this is the first product. It is in a pan, so I like to use product that's in a pan with my finger. That looks so gorgeous. This is supposed to be a glowy cream brush, brush, blush. And you can see probably in the pan that it's not super, super like creamy. It's more like a cream meets a mousse. It's like a little, not stiff, but like it's a little bit more moussey creamy. And it's got way more pigmentation than I thought. <laughs> if you're Swedish, I feel like a post shedding. This went from glowy bronze goddess to Easter post shedding in 30 seconds. Send help. I've been seeing a lot of people using blush up under their like under eyes in the outer part and it looks so cute on these 20 somethings and I'm like, I wanna be cute too. I like that. Not bad, but let's see how, let's see how this one wears. I am gonna go and clean off my hand and then we can use this one. Oh, should I do brows first? Or let me just finish this one, do some powder and then I'll do the brows off camera. Nobody wants to see brows, brows are boring. I'm gonna use a brush and just take it on the brush. This is a FO3 highlighter brush from Sigma and I'm just gonna put some of this on top. That looks really cute. And I'm just mixing it a little bit with this one. Let's just go bananas. It is literally 41 degrees Celsius outside and I am doing a full face of cream products. I feel like that song, somebody put something in my drink. It looks great though. Can't argue that it looks absolutely stunning. Let me see if I can set this with just a smidgen of powder. Where did I put you? Here you are. Just a smidgen of powder, just here under my eyes and around my nose and in my T-zone and here around my mouth and my chin. Beautiful. Okay, so I will say, my face is a little sticky. That's what she's, that's too much. It's too much, Angie. 
reel it in, reel it back. Okay, get back, get back. But I will be using a little powder because I am sticky and I don't do sticky. Again, that's what she said. <laughs> it's gonna be the end of me. I mean, it still looks good, but like, hopefully, like dog hairs won't stick to me. Yeah, that's better. I can live with that. I'm actually gonna be doing some lips before we get into eyeshadow. This is the Ultra Matte Lip from Colourpop. They reformulated this and I am wildly interested to see what this is now because that is a really cute color, even cuter outside of the packaging. This one is in Double Date. They sent me a couple of the colors, got a couple of the blot lips, a couple of the glosses, and a couple of these liquid lipsticks. And the ColourPop liquid lipsticks were, some were good and some were horrible. Some were like dry and cracky and like Elmer's glue. They smell sweet and I hope this is a, I hope this is a good re-release. That color is stunning. That is a really, really pretty color. I am excited about that one. Okay, so after we had been, who, after we had been in Sweden, we went on a flight and we flew from Stockholm, Arlanda. We flew to uh, Belgium. We flew to Brussels. Neither of us had been to Brussels before, but two of our friends, a couple that we used to hang out with when we were in uh, Lynn shopping that were both um, in close proximity to the lab where Ricardo was in Sweden. Both of them now work in Belgium, so we actually got to stay in their guest room and just hang out in Brussels for a couple of days, and it was just so nice. I I feel like Belgium is one of those like forgotten European countries. Nobody talks about Brussels and. It's actually a pretty neat country and it's pretty small and it has a lot of really cute places and the buildings were what I usually love with Europe, like just old and like just, it was just cool. And Belgium is known for their beer and their chocolate and yeah, I just had a really good time and we got to do the thing that I miss in your US cities, at least here in Texas, the ones that I've visited around. Just walk around, to walk anywhere. There's always like green everywhere and you can always walk everywhere. Just so great to just spend two days just walking. I loved it so, so much. And I know that for Ricardo, Belgium is one of those countries that is, he has a long list, but it's one of the countries that's on his list of like, places he could see himself live in the future. So we'll see. So this is the Cosmos palette. Mine came a little bit broken. I don't know, I was able to press it back together. I feel like I did a fairly good job, honestly. I think it looks pretty neat. I will show you some swatches, honestly. I'll do some B-roll afterwards and show you some swatches. I think that there is some colors here that looks very, very promising, especially the color that's called Supernova. That seems like almost like a almost like a pinky purple duochrome with a nude, like a beige nude bottom or like base. That looks really, really cute. The super cluster is that like silver shade. I don't know if we'll be playing with that one today, but I was thinking, what was I thinking? I was thinking, <sighs> I kind of want to play with that one. I also really love the idea of galaxy, which is like a, matte black, I think, with like a lot of shimmer in it. Or is it like a satin? I'm not 100% sure. I haven't swatched this. I feel like I have a fuss here. Or maybe I do. What do I want to do? I really want to play with this one. Okay, let us just do maybe this one and this one. I'll do Comet and then Mars in the crease. We'll start with those. And after Belgium, we had decided that we were gonna take a couple of days, just me and Ricardo, and just have a couple of days of vacation, just the two of us. And we basically said, this was actually the last thing we booked on our trip. We basically said, we'll just decide to fly home from a city 
close to Belgium. So we were like exploring like Paris. We were, because you can take the train from Brussels because it's so central. You can take the train from Brussels to a bunch of countries. Paris, Amsterdam, Frankfurt, other places, of course, in Germany. We were thinking maybe Antwerp. Like there was a couple of places that we were like, toying with the idea of like going from and eventually we ended up booking our flights home from uh, Amsterdam so we took the train from Brussels to Amsterdam and we spent about two days in Amsterdam just me and Ricardo rented a hotel honestly the hotels in Amsterdam have got to be the most expensive prices in Europe like I haven't been to all European cities, definitely not, but I have booked hotel in quite a few of the cities that people say are expensive, and I have never seen prices like I did there. Like, I paid $250 a night, a night for something that is just below average hostel. Like, it's just not good it was just not a good hotel at like at all like I, I wouldn't even call it a hotel they didn't even have any reception like it was just dinky there was like mold in the bathroom not that we spent any time really in the hotel room but for that price one would expect something but like i was actually shocked by the prices and I like the way that Amsterdam looks and I kind of like the feel of Amsterdam, but there is a couple of things of about Amsterdam that makes me feel like this is probably not going to be my favorite city. This is probably not going to be the city that like I return to. And that is that it's very, there's a lot of trash everywhere. And I come from a country that comparison in comparison to other countries Sweden does not have a lot of trash everywhere not that we are trash free but overall I can tell you as someone that's seen quite a few countries in the world in different continents Sweden is pretty good at like its population will put the trash where it belongs Amsterdam was there was a lot of trash all around and I was a little bit shocked by that honestly because it was like I kind of thought that a city that was that touristy they're usually better at keeping it like keeping appearances up basically but i will say the the canals were beautiful the buildings were beautiful it was a lovely like cafe bar environment that i love that you can just sit down somewhere and just have a cocktail and then just move like around and just walk and stuff I did not love that everything was like you had to book like a week or two in advance I don't like places that like sell out plenty of weeks ahead because I am very spontaneous during my vacation and I prefer cities that usually save some tickets for the day before because I don't like making a lot of plans during my vacation because I really like just taking it as it goes I'm gonna do a smaller brush and now that color Mars we'll see how this ends up so we did go to the Rijks museum which was pretty cool I actually really liked the museum and I really liked that the museum was in such a beautiful building I really did love that and I think that like overall for me like I like Amsterdam, but I'm not in love with like Amsterdam. You know, sometimes you go to places and immediately, I always say that's my toxic trait. I spend like 30 seconds in a place and I'm always like, I could live here. I didn't feel like that with Amsterdam. I don't want to live in Amsterdam. Uh, I mean, I loved Venice. I love Rome. I love Florence. I love Paris. I even love London. Not to the extent that's the other cities. Barcelona is beautiful. I even like Athens a lot. Even some people don't like Athens. I really did. Amsterdam? I don't know. I don't know. I think it just wasn't for me. And that's okay. Because I think there's a lot of people that visit my favorite cities that are just like, nope, that is not for me. Okay, so I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Let me clean off this brush. I, I was doing mint with this the other day. This is the EO4 and I'm gonna do that galaxy and I might regret this. I'm just tapping it off, but 
I'm just going to push this in the outer corner. Oh, that's sexy. Ooh, who am I? <laughs> Vixen has entered a chat. Is all the glitter under my eyes? Um, yes. Am I okay with it? Somewhat. So, I mean, this looks really nice. I'm going to be using the Supernova shade now. I Oh, it picks up immaculately. You can't even see anything. That is on my EO1, but I am going to spray it because I don't want any... That was not the brush. <laughs> I don't want any fallout. And I also... That was intense. I also want this to stick on top of the mats as well because I'm going to be using this a little bit over the black as well. That looks really, really cute. So yeah, this definitely has more of a nudie base and then a purple to a blue like shift, like iridescent shift on top. And I'm just going to be adding a little bit more of the black on top here to keep the smokiness going, but that looks really nice. I'm super excited. What am I going to do my inner corners? I kind of want to do, I don't want to do anything from this palette. I don't think I'll do anything from this palette. So let me go and see if I can get something for that. Okay, I'm just using a matte white inner corner highlight. It's the this one, the Stone and Rock palette, but you can't see anything. It's this one, <laughs> the new one from Udensai. And I think this ended up being like what I wanted. Okay, I think I am pretty much done. Let me see if I can just grab some kind of a mascara. Okay, after Amsterdam. This whole trip, there's been so many things that I didn't mention and maybe you'll see them in the vlog. I don't even remember if I put them in the vlog or not and I don't know when the vlog is coming up. But this trip was in many ways uh, full of unexpected expenses, unexpected things and as a sherry on top from like this whole like they lost my husband's bag, they lost my bag on the way home. I thought losing a customer's bag was rare. I thought that that is something that doesn't happen that often. <laughs> and now it having happened both to me and to Ricardo, and they still haven't found his bag. Um, in one trip, it just made me totally reevaluate. Like, should you even check in luggage? I never put anything wildly valuable in my check-in luggage. I'll always put it in a backpack or like in a like a, a stroller like bag on the side or something. But still like when you go on vacation like you bring your favorite stuff. Like I do. I bring my favorite tops and I will say when we got back to Austin and my bag wasn't there, I was devastated devastated to realize that there is a chance that I lost some of my favorite pieces of clothing, my favorite pair of shoes, some of my favorite, like my favorite highlighter from Colourpop that has been discontinued. Like there, there is nothing that like money, I don't want the money. I don't want them to reimburse me. I just want my stuff. And I started crying. I really did because I realized like, oh, and all the souvenirs that I bought, like these earrings, these are not expensive earrings but like I was so sad to have lost the things that I bought from this trip to like remember the trip and just like my favorite piece of clothing that I've had for years and I keep wearing again and again and just made me super sad and I went in to talk to customer service and I'm honestly I think that customer service in the US is way better than Sweden. Like people are super helpful, uh, super friendly, and usually really want to help you. But the lady working for American Airlines, is it Air Airlines? I think so. Like in Austin, she was atrocious. 
And she was like, I can't help you. She's like, you flew with another company before you flew with us. I can't help you. And I was like, so what am I supposed to do? She's like, you could leave. To a crying customer? I did not like that. That was very rude. And I was super sad. And big kudos to our uh, Uber driver that did not say anything and did not ask anything while I was crying the entire time going home. And then I woke up in the morning and I was like, well, at least I don't have a bag to pack. <laughs> at least I don't have that. Um, and I called them and they told me that they had started looking for my bag and I asked him up front, what are my chances? And the guy on the phone says, ma'am, your chances are really high. They're really good. We're, we're gonna find your bag. And you know what happened today? They delivered my bag. And I'm so grateful to have my favorite pieces of clothing bag, my favorite piece of shoes, my earrings. As you can see, I mean, I'm wearing them, this top that I bought. I bought a, a book in Amsterdam. I'm just, I'm so happy that it resolved for me. And I'm super sad that it doesn't seem like it's gonna resolve for my husband. Um, but he said that like, he didn't bring anything that he cannot replace. So I'm excited about that at least, that it was like, if any bag were to get lost, if we had to pick one, I think we both would have picked him. Just because like, uh, which one do I want? Just black. Just because like, he, he didn't bring anything that like he, is gonna miss to the point that like, oh, I got, I can't believe that this is gone. Like he can just rebuy. The shoes that he had in his bag were just like regular Converse. Like he can buy those again. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, but I feel pretty hot in this. <laughs> I feel like this turned out really good. I, I, I really enjoy all of this. Everything that I have been using, I would say the only thing that leaves me a little bit like, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this is that like tinted moisturizer. It's nice now that I set it down with powder, but without powder, it was just too sticky for someone like me. I have, did I even mention that? I am the worst reviewer in the world. How come anyone trusts me? <laughs> I'm 39, I have combo skin. I do get pretty oily around my nose and I cannot do foundations that don't set down because they just slid off my face. But I do think that when I set it with powder, it feels hydrating, but still not sticky. And that I can do. So I'm going to see how this one wears. If anything of this goes totally like off the rails today, I'll put in a pinned comment. But if everything just wears perfectly fine, I'll just, I'll update you in a future video because I always come back and I give you some further thoughts and like a final review once I've been able to try it out for a bit more. Usually I try out things for a couple of weeks, a month, sometimes longer, but yeah, I really, I really like this look and I really like the things that I use today. Do I have any like thoughts? I think the only thing maybe as well, the bronzer stick, I'm going to have to try that a little bit more. I feel now that everything is on, I feel like it, it looks perfectly fine, but it's definitely not the most effortless thing I've used in my life. I think I still like the other cream bronzers that Colourpop offers more. But again, it's just the first impression. I need to try it a little bit more. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know your thoughts down below. And like I said, if you are interested in the vlog, it's gonna come soon on my vlog channel. Link is in the description box. If you're interested in any of the things that I talked about in this video, those are also gonna be in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again, actually probably tomorrow for a new video. Bye.